a spectacular fall day and we get to ride in the country together which i know you love i love doing these drive ups too you are out between houstonville and stanford and th the places around here are just beautiful everything is neat and in its place there's no you know none of these things that you see sometimes junky things uh this is a fantastic farm you're gonna love because it's right up your alley i know i know who our mailing list is if you're not on our mailing list you need to get on our mailing list you're going to get exclusive first crack at a sneak peek at all these properties anyway here's the subject property right here and this again is right up your alley it's real narrow here in the front which is good because it opens up really really wide in the back now i know the lighting's a little weird because we got sun right in our face but the property line starts here where that white fence is and it goes just on the other side of that pond it's a nice pond perfect little fishing pond great for the kids it's good feng shui to have water in front of your house too so here you've seen the aerial uh, i threw an aerial here in the, in the beginning it's a it's an older style brick home that they have completely remodeled and it is nice it's decorated nice here are the fields all fenced ready for your animals it's got a nice horse barn with brand new roof and it's got water there it's got a waterer right there hold on a second it's got a water right there where the horses are and then there's a water i think it inside the barn and there's water on the outside of the barn there's like three waterers right there and a new roof just needs a little red paint on it and it'll be just as cute as a button all the lands here in the back goes it's like wide it's like several hundred feet wide and it's got this great carport and wait till you see what we've got i've got a couple surprises for you right in here before i go in i want to take you up for a flight we're going to go on up here and see what's around can you believe the views it's amazing if you look at the views to the front to the back like 360 the views are amazing all these fields are yours here where the horses are you can tell where they've been nibbling it down so the more they nibble the less feed you got to buy and then just look at these views it's great to have neighbors that are as neat as a pin as some of these neighbors are here you're just seven and a half miles from stanford which is a great town it's got a walmart supercenter hospital all that stuff and it's got cedar creek lake which is 800 acre bass fishing lake it's a trophy bass fishing lake and there's all kinds of stuff of course you're not too far from lake cumberland if you like to fish and you like water sports and you're not too far from danville either you're only about 30 minutes to danville okay now here we are here I'm, we're going to go inside now i just want to show you the backyard and you got this great carport, which I'd say it's one vehicle wide. You might fit two vehicles in there, which is fine. But this is nice. Wait till you see what's in here. And we got a basement. I got to show you the basement too. You're going to want to see everything. I'm going to show it to you. Just be patient. Just be patient. All right. Here we go. This is absolutely the nicest man cave I've ever seen. This is the old house here. See the brick? So you got all brick there. And then this it was like a carport or a garage i guess i don't know garage i guess i don't know but they have finished it off this acid wash stuff is fantastic and it lasts forever look how cool it is it's got the mottled look and everything and then they they put a uh, sealer on it so you just put a sealer on it and you're done you sweep it mop it maybe once in a while whatever that's it so how nice is that so you've got heat out here it's got one of those like motel dealio things there and and they put all this board and batten right from the sawmill, local sawmill. How neat is that? Do you like it? If you like it, put it in the comments right here and tell me what you would use this for. I think it's fantastic. Really a great uh, man cave, woman cave, whatever you want to call it, right? Oh, here, this is another nice little surprise. Look at that. We've got a half bath right here. So we got four bedrooms. Ken tells me four bedrooms. Two and a half baths. This is a half here. How nice is that? And a lot of square footage. A lot. Oh, this is this is the uh, go to the basement. I'll show you that later. I, I gotta I gotta go down there and show you that. You're gonna like that. This is the kitchen, obviously. But it's open out into the living room so you've got you get this huge entertaining space which i like a lot how about you all 
all, all wood floors. It's all that uh, engineered wood. It's real wood. It's not laminate or anything like that. It's really nice. You can't beat the price. I'm telling you, you can't beat the price. It's under 200. You got to talk to Ken what the price is, but I don't want to sound like one of those dorky salesmen. Oh, this won't last long, but I'm telling you, this won't last long on the market. A nice porch out front. I've never been out on the porch. It's time I do. That goes into the living room. Actually, I wonder if you could throw in a circle drive here. Oh yeah, I bet you could. Look how cute this is. And then this is your neighbor here. Very nice, very nice. Now, if you're sitting here on the porch, look at the view. Is that crazy or what? That's gotta be five miles or more to those knobs out there. Maybe six miles, seven miles. And that would be uh, route 127. If I, what I'll do is I'll check it on Google Earth and I will um, I'll put it here. Okay, and you can see what a beautiful view you've got. You've got cattle over there. You got your horses right here. Go back in the house. Okay. Dining room. All right. Get a full bath here. And that's all tile. All tile. The whole thing. Isn't that nice? Tile on the floor too. This is a home office. Could easily be a bedroom. There's a closet there. There's a walk-in closet here. Or it could be what these people are using it for, which is a master suite. So you've got... You've got a, uh, a door here, this goes into the dining room. So this could be a bedroom, you think? And, this, <laughs> and you've got a closet there. You could also use this as a bedroom. you got the door here, you can close that off, and you're all set. Okay, let's go upstairs. So, we're right here, bathroom right there, bedroom or two right here, let's go upstairs. huge space up here it could be definitely be like a, a game room TV sitting room thing Cindy and I are talking about putting a dish in our house we want to have one of these for our kids so they can go out and play their games hang out with their friends right so you, you've got one there already this one this bedroom is not finished easy bedroom you could carpet it you could sand the floors you could paint the floors painted floors look pretty good I've seen some nice ones and then here you get another whole bedroom here. This is a long and narrow bedroom. How nice. Wow. There you go. There you go. All the closet you'll ever need. Right there. Place to store your holiday tree. A place to hang your clothes. Maybe like a little doll dollhouse area in there. Kind of an adventure room for this. Maybe you open up some of this wall here, too. A lot of options. It's all about options. I like to give you options. Okay. All right. That's the house. There's, there's a lot of square footage. I'm going to put it right here. And then, but wait, we're going to show you the basement. And then i got to show you the horse barn. I know the most important thing for you is going to be the barn. I know that. I know that already. So I'm going to show that to you as well. Down here basement. Here you got another bath, a full bath down here. Now this isn't huge down here. This isn't a full basement, but it is a walkout basement. There's the door. You walk right on out, which is nice. And there's a thimble there. It used to be a wood stove here. Can you imagine putting a wood stove down here? Maybe a little bar or pool table or whatever. Maybe a teenager flat, or maybe just have the wood stove down here and let the, uh, the heat rise. Little sink, kitchenette. Sweet, huh? I told you you were going to like it, especially for the price. 
Okay, so we were just downstairs, came up, and we're ready to go out to the horse barn. But before I go in the horse barn, I want to show you what's behind this door. And there's only one tiny little light in here, and it's not very bright, but it's another whole deal. You could put anything you want in here. Hope you can see. It's kind of dark, but you put another bedroom in here, or bathroom, or gosh, only knows what you could do with it. Workshop, what would you do with it? Put that down below, let me know. You give me good ideas. Sometimes your ideas are the best. Okay, now here we're at the top of the hill up here by the barn, which I'm gonna show you, which is nice. And then we've got the view is amazing. Here's out the back. So this whole field, remember I told you it was real narrow in the front? Well, it's really wide in the back and here's where it's really wide. So you go up to that fence there and you go clear on over the white fence there and all the way to the back to that fence there. And you've got this huge run-in shed here. So you've got plenty of shelter for the horses. And you've got, you've got a water here. Let me show you how this thing works. It's a frost-proof hydrant. You all know how this works. You pick this up and the foot valve comes up. And then water comes out. And then when you shut it down, that foot valve opens up three or four feet in the ground and drains all the water out here. So there's no water in here, no water in here, so it never freezes. So we call it frost-proof hydrant. And they're great. You got three of them right here. One there, one there, and one inside the barn. So there's always surprises and little secrets and everything. I want to show you in here. This is a little surprise. Look at this. You can store your lawnmower in here, or four-wheeler, those side-by-sides. You get a place like this, you're going to need one of those gator side-by-side -side things, huh? Wouldn't that be fun? Then you can haul all your firewood around and your hay. They're great. They're really great. Looking to buy one myself. Just more good storage space. Fantastic. Oh, and it's got power. They put all new power in here. Uh, you got light. Super duper. Let's go on inside. Come on, let's go inside the barn. Speaking of which... You've got four working stalls, and then you've got two extra spaces here. Well, two and a half extra spaces. Two extra spaces that you can put stalls in here, too. And here you go. I don't want to blast it all over everywhere. There you go. And then it just drains. Isn't that cool? Slick. Oh, I want to show you the tack room. Look at this tack room. Check this out. It's all electrified. Dirt floor, so it's nice and comfy for the horse foot. You got a little uh, little heater there. Keep the... And then a lot of hay. So there's hay up up there already. Negotiate with, with Ken and Jeremy and see what you can do. Maybe you can move your animals right in and you've got hay ready for the winter. There's a stall. Here's a stall. So your animals are always going to be in the shelter, but well ventilated. You know ventilation is important for horses. You know that. There's another stall. And this is, most of this wood is oak. Uh, maybe all of it is oak. And uh, so that's really tough stuff. Makes it hard for them to crib, and and uh, and they're certainly not going to put a foot through it. But you got four four ready to go stalls. And then this is the back. These gate panels can be moved around. You can do what you want. Bring the horses in. Corral them up. You got a little run-in shed over here too. Get out of the weather. You like it? I knew you would. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. You talk about sleigh riding. Now there's a field. If you get to know the neighbors, I'm sure they'll let you sleigh ride in their field. That'd be fun. We don't get snow often enough to go sleigh riding very often, but when you do, you need to jump on it because it's usually gone in a day or two. 
All right, that's it. That's it from this property. Thanks so much for watching. Sign up for our newsletter right there. You'll get all the new properties before the general public. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Button's right down there. And thanks so much for watching. Always appreciate it, and especially a beautiful fall day like this. Ciao. And wait till you check this. Wait till you see. And wait till you see what we've got. I've got a couple surprises for you right in here. And you can also use this as a closet array. Right, back up. So there's always surprises and little secrets and everything. I want to show you in here. This is a little surprise. Gotta watch out, that door comes out. Hang on.